I now give the floor to His Excellency, Mr. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. Prime Minister, you have the floor. Merci. Bonjour. I want to begin by thanking Albania for using their presidency to convene this meeting. I also want to thank President Volodymyr Zelensky for his words earlier today. As leaders, protecting the sovereignty of our nations is one of our most sacrosanct duties. Any violation is unacceptable. It violates the very charter of this institution. It violates international law. It violates the peace and security of people. The UN was established to save people from the scourge of war. This fundamental principle has guided this institution since it was founded. So we need to be 100% clear about what is happening right now. A permanent member of this Security Council, Russia, has launched and continues to wage an illegal war. Vladimir Poutine a violé la souveraineté et l'intégrité territoriale de l'Ukraine et veut restreindre le droit du peuple ukrainien de déterminer son propre avenir. En même temps, la Russie utilise de manière flagrante son droit de veto au sein de cette organisation pour permettre cette guerre et cette violation des principes de l'ONU. We must all stand up to this affront to the UN. We must take action to stop the tragic deaths and violence, including sexual violence, caused by this unjustifiable invasion. We must not let the world return to a place where might makes right. We must make sure that borders mean something, even when a neighbor has a bigger army. Respect for the rule of law and accountability to it should be fundamental and non-negotiable. This body was born out of the ashes of the deadliest war humankind had ever seen. Tens of millions of people died in Europe Africa and Asia during the Second World War. Watching bloody conflict return to Europe has shaken the conscience of the world and it threatens the peace that for three quarters of a century led to unprecedented prosperity around the world. We cannot let that happen because it is not just Ukraine or even just Europe that suffers if we don't uphold our values. All of us will suffer, including all of you in the Global South. And it's not just about the far-reaching and long-term impacts. It's about the suffering that is happening right now. Russia is weaponizing energy and food, leading millions to face shortages, hunger, and even starvation. Canada is dedicated to mitigating the impacts on the most vulnerable. We do not believe we have to choose between supporting Ukraine and supporting the SDGs and global development. In fact, the only responsible choice is to do both, which we are doing with solidarity and financial commitment. Le combat de l'Ukraine est également le nôtre. C'est notre combat à tous. Il ne doit y avoir aucun doute. Le Canada demande à la Russie de procéder au retrait immédiat, complet et sans condition de ses troupes. Canada supports the key principles of the Ukrainian peace formula because it must be a peace that respects the UN Charter, is based in international law and preserves Ukraine's territorial integrity a peace that upholds our common humanity and common values, not a peace that turns a blind eye. It must be a peace that is built on respect for the facts and respect for the rules. That is what Canada will always stand for everywhere. Merci.